Hey, what's going on? Uh, Danny here with Elite Mobile Auto Electric on another one. This is a 2009 Chevy Colorado. Um, customer's complaint is that there is no power to the ignition switch. Um, that light flashes, you try cranking it, and there's nothing. Um, there's sometimes that it does turn on not gonna lie um and as soon as you turn it off sometimes they won't even turn on once again um so i already diagnosed this by the way but i thought it'd be interesting to share it um this cable from the ignition switch it's a it's a yellow it's an orange one that one right there that one is supposed to have battery power now um another electric guy had got this truck prior to all this um and he's the one who cut this wire and put a power wire which is this one right here um and he just bypassed this adding power to the ignition switch and got the truck to turn on uh, as is i don't know what else he was messing with but supposedly the guy said that the customer said that the truck was running fine for two weeks and eventually uh, it died so right here as we can see it it turned on uh, you know the switch turned on and then we shut it off and then sometimes it, it fails um, so I wanted to show you guys that um, I was looking at the diagram and the, the diagram actually says that there's an inline fuse for this particular uh, uh, power which is coming from the battery now the inline fuse uh it was hard it was crazy because it seems that it's hidden in the cable itself but you're, you're able to see once you take off this wrap that there's two fuses down here um for your anti-theft and your inflatable restraints and vehicle communications module um all the fuses checked out fine um and after restoring the the power which is this one uh to the to the ignition switch i was able to get check the power to the bcm and then i i want to go ahead and check the uh run and crank relay which is uh figure uh h so uh, page two so it's here and then um I noticed that there was power there so i know that the bcm is actually sending it to the to the um to the fuse box and then obviously so in that way i don't have to lift the fuse box and check it i got to make sure that i have power at my cruise and my trans uh, fuse so i was able to check them and i do have power there so i know for a fact that the the bcm is turning on sending power to all my fuses but then yet i don't have power to my crank nor i have power to my um dash so um what i want to go ahead and do and do is that i traced the i traced the the wiring and then i found the fuse here um this fuse is for your ignition switch it's it's very crazy because i wasn't able to see it with all this tape covered and i thought it was just a piece of the, the you know the tape just staying there so um uh after restoring that power and checking all my signals um uh, i went to go ahead and scanned it and when i scanned it um i was able to communicate with my uh, engine control module that's the first thing that i wanted to to check and then um i found that there was a class 2 data link high so um i obviously i checked it when it the the fault was acting up so i went through my transmission i had communications there went to my anti-locks didn't have communication didn't have communication with my airbags um the theft the radio body control module instrument cluster i did have communications with my fuel pump um 
so I know that for a fact it was a fault in my CAN signals. So uh, I went go ahead and opened up my page and of course we have a the fuel pump tan white that runs to your transmission engine and then there is a secondary uh, class 2 data which is the purple and that is pin number 2 at the OBD2 plug and then it shoots out to my BCM and then from there I have uh, the ABS inflatable restraint and all that um, so I knew that I had to go to my scope and scope my can signals and these it, these are my can signals for the engine control module and then um, and then for my class 2 data it was my pin 2 so right here I connected my lead and um, obviously right now it's it's working you know my lights on so it's not gonna trigger anything but um, and it is communicating let me turn up my and that is my voltage so I know for a fact that it right there is communicating um, after upon that, I decided to start disconnecting each uh, module on my class two data. The first one that I came across was the ABS module. So I went to go ahead and I disconnected it. And then my data went back alive and I connected it again, like I did right now. And then it shorted out once again. So my current date of my current power right now it's shorted out to five volt um it's the green trace i mean the red the yellow trace so that is not your ordinary can signal um if i were to disconnect my abs everything um hello everything uh goes back to normal so if i short it out connect this thing once again it'll short out and then my class two data which is number two is not flashing anymore uh so it's down um and then right here and then right here i obviously i i, I don't have any power i try connecting it i mean turn the key nothing and if i disconnect it Everything goes back. And there you go. And then it turns on. So right here, the issue that we're having is the the CAN2, I mean the, the, the data from pin 2 of your OBD is shorting out to positive, to 5 volt reference, which is causing the truck not to turn on um the guy did put this cable here because he couldn't figure out where was the fuse i had troubles about like 40 minutes trying to find this but this is the fuse for it uh i replaced it for now because it's supposed to be a 5 amp but i put a 20. um and then uh i gotta fix this but you have power there abs is what's actually shorting out um at this point uh i suggest the customer replace it get another one and then we're gonna have to program it remove the wire that they installed and put everything back to normal but there you had it thought i'd show this interesting um you know problem try to share it with you so in that way it gives you a little bit more understanding about the symptoms and how the serial data actually works um you know uh the diagram does help a lot uh, and this can happen with any any module so in this case if the data did not go down and you can actually check it too with a voltmeter um, on your pin 2 
of the OBD and then you're going to have to stay constant on 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 looking on on at the voltage but if for some odd reason you disconnected your ABS and that didn't solve your issue you have to keep going down to the easiest one until you get to the main one that's actually uh shorting out your your signal and then after that you'll be able to see that um everything goes back online so i thought you know i hope this helps you know somebody out there um it's pretty interesting one i know it's not so difficult but definitely interesting um but there you have it and i hope this helps thank you for watching and give it a like thank you